We're back this morning with Boston City Council President Ed Flynn. So Boston Public Schools are back in full force this week. They started this past week. Mayor Wu did not cancel classes last week uh, in spite of the heat. Do you agree with that decision to keep the school doors open on Thursday and Friday? Yes, I do. I was at several schools um, on Thursday. I was at Josiah Quincy School, the upper school, the Blackstone on the south end, the Perry School in South Boston. The kids need to be back in the buildings. They need to learn. Our teachers need to, to teach. Certainly we have challenges with the um, HVAC systems. Some, I think there's 14 or 15 schools that don't have HVAC systems. The city's come a long way, though, on that front. I mean, it's almost 90% of the buildings now have air conditioning. We've worked, myself and my colleagues in the city government, worked with Mayor Wu, Mayor Walsh, Mayor Janey, but we invested a lot of money into um, HVAC systems. And we're going to continue doing that work. But um, the mayor made the right decision keeping schools open. What letter grade do you give Superintendent Skipper on this, the start of her second year? I personally like the superintendent. I have a good relationship with her. Um, I, think she's, I think she's doing a good job. I don't know what letter grade I would give her. But I think she's providing positive leadership and a very difficult and challenging situation. All right, the mayor left for vacation. She did not notify you. Now, t typically, as the city council president, you serve as acting mayor when the mayor is uh, not around or goes on vacation. So what happened there? I had the opportunity. I, I talked to the mayor frequently, and I think there may have been a mix-up, and the letter may have not been received by me at the, at the right time. But I'm not going to be critical of the mayor. Um, everyone's entitled to a vacation. Um, a mayor certainly deserves a vacation. I know how important it is for a mayor to take a vacation. What, uh, what kind of a mix-up? Well, my father was also the former mayor. He had the opportunity to take a vacation, too. I think it's healthy for a mayor to have a vacation with his or her family spouse. Um, so I, I, I think the mayor made the right decision taking a vacation. But, but to not notify you? I think the letter just didn't get to me at the right time mm -hmm. that it should have been. And maybe it should have gotten to me a day earlier or two days earlier. But mistakes happen and, and we move on. You mentioned your dad. Might we see another Mayor Flynn in the city of Boston? It's, it's very unlikely. I'm You're not interested in the job? I'm happy being a, a city councilor. I, it's been a tremendous honor to be the city council president. I'll go back to being a, city coun a district city councilor. And then down the road, maybe if I have the opportunity to work on uh, veterans issues and military family issues somewhere in the federal government or the state government. Mm -hmm. That's something I would like to do. But so that's where you see your path. You, would you rule out a run for mayor? I think there's one Mayor Flynn in the family, and that was my dad. <laughs> okay. Do you think Mayor Wu's happy in the job? I think she is. I think it's an extremely difficult job. It's, it's an emotional job. It takes a toll on a, a mayor in the family. And I'm always speaking from what I've seen from my father. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult. When you, when you work 16 hours a day, seven days a week, in my father's case, he had six kids and, and, and married. Um, there's little time for kids. And you know maybe you see your dad on, on a Saturday or a Sunday. But it's very stressful. It's not it's a and tough it, job. It's not fun. It's not exciting. Yeah. But you do accomplish a lot. You are able to help the residents and move the city forward, though. All right, thanks again to City Council President Ed Flynn. Good to see you. Thank thanks you. for coming in. Thank you. The Sunday Roundtable's next. Rhode Island Democrats make their call on a candidate for Congress. And the choice might say a lot about what we can expect in 2024. We'll talk about that and much more. Stay with us.